Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a rational equation. We have x cubed plus x divided by the quantity x squared minus x plus 1 squared equals 10 ninths. And we're going to be solving for all values of x, real and complex. Okay, now, I'm going to be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. Now, my first method is going to involve a little bit of brute force. So I'm going to use cross multiplication. That's going to give me 9x cubed plus 9x equals 10 times the quantity x squared minus x plus 1 squared. Now let's go ahead and expand the right hand side and put everything together. Now to square a x squared, line, x squared minus x plus 1, I can use the formula a plus b plus c quantity squared or I can just put the two quantities together and square it that way too. Either way is fine. Uh, and no matter what you do, you're gonna use, uh, you're gonna get the same answer. So let me go ahead and use the following identity. So this is gonna give me x to the fourth plus x squared plus one, and then I'm getting minus two x cubed plus two x squared minus two x. Let's go ahead and distribute to 10. And let's see if there's anything that can be simplified inside the parentheses. We actually have these two expressions and we can add them up and make it 3x squared. Okay. So let's distribute to 10, 10x 10 to the fourth. Now I do have 3x squared, so it's going to be 30x squared plus 10 minus 20x cubed minus 20x. Now, I'd like to put everything on the same side, but I want x to the fourth to be positive. Therefore, let's put everything on the right hand side. Great. So that's going to give me 10x to the fourth minus 9x cubed. And then here we have, let's see if we can simplify it. Any, well, we can actually go ahead and um, do the following. Let's put everything on the same side first, and then I'll take care of the like terms. So going to look like this. And the whole thing is close to zero. Okay. Now, we're getting 10x to the fourth, and then negative 20x cubed minus 9x cubed is going to give me negative 29x cubed. And then I have 30x squared and I should have another x squared. Let's see where that x squared is. Um, so that should be 9x plus 9x. Well, actually, no. That's the only x squared I have. So, okay, here we go. So I have 30x squared. So I'm taking care of this. I've taken care of this. These two. And now we have negative 29x. And finally, I have plus 10. Cool. Now, what is so special about this equation? Well, it has some type of symmetry, okay? It, it is a symmetrical equation, in other words, because if you look at the coefficients uh, that are the same distance from the center, which is 30x squared, you're going to notice that they're equal. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we can put those together. Or actually, here's what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to divide everything by x squared. Let's see, let's do that first. 10x squared minus 29x plus 30 minus, when we divide by x squared, it's going to be 29 over x, and it's going to be 10 over x squared. So when you divide both sides by the variable term in the middle, because it's symmetrical, uh, you're going to get um, two terms that kind of pair up nicely, like 10x squared and 10 over x squared. We can put those together now. And then, of course, we have the negative 29x minus 29 over x. And finally, we have the plus 30. Now, this is going to be nicer if we write it as 10 times the quantity x squared plus 1 over x squared. And these two as negative 29 times x plus 1 over x plus 30. I hope you see what I see. Now, this can be expressed in terms of x plus 1 over x. Because if you square x plus 1 over x, 
you get x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x, but that just becomes 1, and you get 2, so you can basically isolate this and write the x squared plus x, uh, 1 over x squared as x plus 1 over x quantity squared minus 2, and then minus 29 times x plus 1 over x plus 30 equals 0. And at this point, we can use substitution and call this y, and we get 10 times y squared minus 2 minus 29y plus 30 is equal to 0. And this becomes a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and simplify it. 10y squared minus 29y. Now we have a negative 20 plus 30. That's going to become positive 10. Great. Okay. Now, notice that we still have the same type of symmetry, but we can solve this using the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and use it. Or you can use factoring too. And I think when you use factoring, it's going to be something like 5y minus 2 and then uh, 2y minus 5, something like that. Anyways, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is minus um, 4 times 100, which is 400, divided by 2 times 10, which is 20. Okay, now uh, we got to, uh, we got to find 29 squared. Let's go ahead and find it. That is going to be 841. So we're going to subtract 841 minus 400, which is 441. And 441 happens to be 21 squared. So we're going to get 29 plus 21 over 2, 20, and 29 minus 21 over 20. Those are going to be the solutions. This is going to be y equals 2, and this is going to be 8 over 20, which can be written as two fits. Okay? Um, actually, that's not right. The first one is not two, obviously. It's two y minus five. So that's going to give us five halves. Great. So that verifies that the factors are two y minus five and five y minus two. Great. We get the same answer from here too. So those are the solutions, but are we looking for y? No. We're looking for x, but x plus one over x is equal to y. So let's go ahead and do that. x plus one over x is equal to y. And if you set the y equal to 5 halves, now from here you're going to notice that x can be 2 because 2 plus 1 half is 5 halves, but the same thing is also true for 1 half, right? What happens if x plus 1 over x is equal to 2 fifths? Can we find that easily? This is not that straightforward, but at least we got two real solutions. Let's go ahead and solve this. x squared plus 1 over x equals 2 fifths. From here we get 5x squared plus 5 is equal to 2x. And when you turn it into a quadratic equation, you're going to notice that this is going to give us non-real solutions, right? b squared, uh, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So it's going to give us 100 and 10. Uh, the square root of 96 can be written as uh, 16 times 6. Therefore, x is going to be 2 plus minus 4 root 6 multiply by i because it's going to be negative 96 so we have to include the i here and from here the solutions the non-real solutions are going to be 1 plus minus 2 over 5 root 6 i well we could also i guess write it as well i guess this is probably one no that's not right what am i talking about okay Sorry about that. We can, we're dividing the top and the bottom by 2, so it's going to give us 1 plus minus 2 root 6i divided by 5. So those are going to be the non-real solutions, and the real solutions are going to be x equals 2 and x equals 1 half. Now let's go ahead and look at the second method for solving this problem, which is kind of similar to the first method. Let me briefly introduce the method, and then I can probably, you know, you'll figure out the rest. So my original equation is, let's see, x cubed plus x, x cubed plus x, divided by x squared minus x plus 1 squared, and that is equal to 10 ninths. Here's how the second method works. I'm going to be factoring out an x squared here, so that's going to give me x plus 1 over x, and then at the bottom I want to take out an x, 
but that kind of translates into taking out x squared because of the square on the outside. So this gives me the following. We get an x squared from here and this from inside the parentheses. And notice that I can factor out x squared or cross it out because we know that x does not equal 0 here, so it's okay to do. And now if you call x plus 1 over x, y or something else, you can solve this equation very easily and arrive at the same solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.